That right leg is stepping out. Yeah, she was attacked by a cat or a coyote. We don't know. We, the dogs no. saved her. Never been the same, though. No. I, I expected her to die, but she hasn't. She's a tough, tough little bird, so she will get to live mm. her life out. Oh, that's cool. Is she blind in one eye? Did you she say? She's blind. Yeah. So you get to live your life out. Yeah. Good for you. Her so, name is Melody. Melody. Melody's looking. Melody's already. Oh, here they come. Woo. This is how you catch chickens. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you always need something with a top when you do this. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> And I'm going to let you put the food down. I'm going to let you hold him so you have an idea about what this. He probably has some Langshan in his because I like large chickens. Some what? Some Langshan. Like Langshan. They're the largest breed. Uh, Langshans are the tallest and I think Brahmas are the heaviest. Okay. But he's pretty comfortable with being held. Obviously. I love those colors. It's almost like a pheasant. Uh-huh. And this, these are just, people make earrings out of them. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Pretty. Heavy. He's hefty, He's huh? He is big, he isn't should, he? A heavy bird. You should be able to put your hands on your birds several times a year so you know that they're gaining weight the way they're supposed to. Yeah. See, now if you ever hold a bird that's similar size and it's light, you'll know it's not getting enough food or it has too many parasites or whatever. Okay. All of this down here, we talked about bumblefoot. Mm -hmm. These are broken toes. Okay. Oh, wow. What this from? Is, uh, one of the roost in there is a metal rail that has holes in it. Uh -huh. And he gets a and caught. Sometimes it gets caught and sometimes they get caught in the fence. And his comb is a result of fighting mm -hmm. and frostbite. This is what will hurt you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And wow. They do make a, uh, or you can make it yourself, a long reach handle out of wire that you can reach down and hook their leg and it saves you from getting spurred. Mm. I can usually pick him up by behavior. There's a very yeah. different behavior between roosters. Roosters are always standing up, you know, mm. sort of the traditional stereotype masculine right. behavior. Right. And hens tend to be a, a duck and cover, <coughs> you know, a little bit coy. Mm -hmm. Don't waste time with aggressive birds. Aggressive hens that are mamas, oh, I love them. Mm -hmm. I let them make me bloody because they're good mamas. And with hens, you can grab their legs if that's a better option because they don't usually have spurs. They never get as big or as sharp as the males. They are. <laughs> no. no. Like I said, I tolerate aggressive females much more than. Once their feet are caught, there you go. they almost always calm right down. And if they're very, very scared, mm -hmm. well, you can tell breed by the shape of the comb in combination because you can have other birds with this feather color, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but their combs will be different. Now, a bird that you're, you're going to keep, you don't really want to handle them by the wings because you can tear these ligaments in there and it can hurt them. Hens get heavy. You don't hold them by the head if you want them to survive. You don't hold them by the wing unless it's just a desperate situation or okay. you're going to butcher them. All right. How old do you let your hens get before you harvest them? Just when they stop um, laying? Eight years. So about how many, there are two of you here, about how many birds do you harvest a year for food? Whenever I get hungry. That's whenever you get hungry. Yeah. You come out and get one. There, we started here with no refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And... I either have to eat it or can't. A lot of people mm -hmm. are stuck on you have layers and you have meat birds. And, you know, my grandmother, you know, she had a... She had chicken. But, yeah. Like my my grandma would go out and just say, we're having chicken and get one and that would be it. Ah! Oh, look at that. I know. She's like, Dad gummit, you got me. So how often do you come out here and touch and pick up your birds? A couple times a week for sure. Okay. Now, you see how pale and small uh -huh. her comb is? Yeah. She is not laying. Yeah, and that's, that's, I mean, they turn more red and get swollen yeah. when they're ah, ready to lay. Ah, right? okay. So, so I didn't know that either. If you have to grow your food to feed them, uh -oh. it matters. 
we're, I mean, our, our mortgage is paid and most of our bills are covered uh -huh. so we can buy food. But years ago, when we were paying off the mortgage, we were growing the food. That's hard work. Yeah. And what were you growing? I would make a, a wire on the ground so they could not dig the plants up. Mm -hmm. And so we would have winter rye. Uh, okay. Wildlife plot mix does really well here. Okay. So you check with the county extension in Colorado, you'll probably find what we do there. Mm -hmm. And in those cages, those mm -hmm. are actually intended to keep the chickens away from whatever's underneath it. Uh -huh. And you let it grow, and then you can move it and plant another spot, like a little chicken tractor, sort of. Mm -hmm. Here, look how heavy she is. Come here, you. Come here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a good weight for a bull meat old hen. So, okay. her skin, so her this mate, is one you would harvest. Yeah, she's in harvesting age. Uh -huh. We would have a young rooster attack us. Uh -huh. We would take him and I would tuck his feet into my belt and wear him for a few hours. Uh -huh. And then when he was put down, he didn't want humans. He didn't want to be no one humans anymore. We had no more trouble. <laughs> if they continue to be aggressive after that, you need to kill them because it's hereditary. Okay. Grabbing the thigh. So, okay. so he doesn't. Uh, so he hasn't been handled much, I guess, huh? No, this is probably the first time he's ever been caught. Ah, okay. Fleas and mites yeah. and stuff like that. You can usually see them crawling around on, on their, their faces. face. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before, where they they have a flea like embedded right near their eye yeah, or, or something. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it's usually ticks if it's embedded. While they clean themselves, the ones that they pick off, they will eat. Yeah. Well, that and one... they'll sometimes they'll groom each other too. Yes, won't they? they do, especially hens. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. They actually pair bond sometimes, and there will be one hen, and she acts like, "You are my rooster." Yeah, you're my and responsibility. And you shall, you shall look the way I. And, and he yeah. will stand there, and he will tolerate her pulling feathers. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it's pretty amazing to watch. Assuming that we're not that we're going to do it the same way naturally, this you know, not put light out and things like that. How many chickens? How many hens do you think we should need for both meat and eggs? I, if I were moving into that environment, I would start with 12. 12? Yeah. Because you know some of them are going to yeah. croak. There may be a rare bear that actually winds up in that area, it's but mostly have to be aware mostly of. it's owls, hawks, mm -hmm. and, uh, coyotes. and coyotes. Foxes out there. Are there any particular conditions or sicknesses yes. that would make a bird unfit to harvest? But I, it's usually you catch it from the live bird into a cut or into your eyes. Uh -huh. um, I think that's how, somebody told me that that's how bird flu actually got started in people. Okay. Was because of dirty water from the chickens that splashing that gets in your eyes. Got it. In your nasal passages, whatever. If a bird looks sick, they usually will sit around all huddled up. And you, they, after you see them for a while, you, you can tell that something does wrong. Um, it's really good to remove them from the rest of the birds. Free range bird is exposed to the concept, mama shows it, try this, try this, try this. Mm -hmm. So they will try new food. A bird that's been raised, you know, confined and has never had anything but like pellets or crumbles won't eat other food. Right. They, don't, they don't know what's it food. doesn't know. Will they eat spiders? They will sometimes. And then it seems like I've had sudden death and I've wondered, did they eat a black widow? And you feel where his spine is. Oh, spine is. yeah. When you cut them, you want to find that spine behind their skull. Uh huh. And you're going to put the point of the knife right into there uh -huh. with the sharp edge away from you. Uh -huh. You're going to hold gonna... him like this. You're going to hold him. All your fingers. All fingers. Uh -huh. Okay? And you're going to know where that sharpness is right there with your thumb. I'm going to move your thumb towards his spine. You can use a cord. You can use anything. It's like a little slip knot there. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to step in and get the knife because okay. it's in the house in the same place. But look at how calm he is. Yeah, well, I mean, what's he going to do? What do you think, Robert? Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little scared because, like I was telling Jay, all I can remember is getting flogged by my grandma's chickens. Mm -hmm. And it's a little intimidating. Well, they're going to flop. I don't think there's any doubt about that. My thumb is on the back of the skull right there, the jaw. I'm clear of my fingers. All at once. Just push in. 
and I do see. not let go. Do not let go. Okay. If you ever do a large bird like a turkey or a goose, they will beat the far out of you. Hmm. Um, if you're going to save the wings, you kind of want to do this to make sure there's not lots of blood, you know. When you say save the wings, if you're going to cook them, oh, if you're going to cook wings, wings. okay. I'll, I'll let you pull feathers. Okay. There so we can score them. <laughs> like I said that if if they're under stress, the stress causes the feather to stick. It causes the quill to come out, mm. and they'll stick into them. Mm. This isn't too bad, huh, Robert? No, but it is going to be. I'm going to be honest. It is going to be hard for me to to do that. I'll tell you, having that sharp knife really helped because it. It, it's not like I had to saw, you know, or anything like that. It just went very quickly. Jay, thank you for uh, showing us how to do this. We're not going to keep the skin. So why why did we pull the feathers then? If we're so not I gonna... can see what I'm doing. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, feathers will dull, dull your knife, just like hair on pigs and other animals. So right there. Okay. That's a pretty now, lean chicken. That, that's not what you're used to seeing no, in the store, is it? That's what sh that's what the pictures are so different. Mm -hmm. Um, so just peel it. To get under the skin, pins, the skin just comes right off of them. Now, when you go to harvesting, you just harvest one as you need it. Um, how long does it normally take you to, to get through this, you know, processing and chicken harvesting it and getting it where you want it? Ready to cook. Okay. Twenty minutes. I would now cut off the breast meat and cut off the thighs and the rest of it I would feed to the dogs or whatever, yeah. yeah it'd be cooked and fed to the chickens or the pigs. <clears throat> So you feed this meat back to the chickens? I feed pork to the chickens and uh -huh. chickens to the pigs. Got it. Then they're not eating soil and green, you know. <laughs> so how much would you pay for a fresh free range chicken breast at a health food store? I wouldn't. <laughs> well, this is really neat. You like the anatomy lesson, well, huh? Well, yeah. Because like I said, the last time I there, saw anything like this, I was a little kid and it was just, so you wouldn't want to can this or what? Tell me about that. I would cook what I wanted to in my pressure cooker today. Mm -hmm. Whatever's left over, I would stick into a canning jar and I would put in my pressure canner and I would pressure that one or two little jars. Okay. Hmm. It's a little chicken. It's pretty calm. Yeah, it's been pretty good sitting here mostly. See, in just a couple weeks, these little um, feathers are going to be growing out enough to tell. Uh huh. I just, I can't really. Yeah, those. They're looking.